among thousands of galaxies and millions of planets. Earth is the only planet we know which sustains life. The light, heat and energy given out by the sun are vital for all life forms on Earth. The sun's energy is converted here into food. This is a prime foundation of all life on Earth. To ensure a constant supply of food, nature created pollinators, insects. The most prolific pollinators is the honey bee. Along with butterflies, the honey bees pollinate over 70% of the world's food, fruit crops and grass. This interdependence has been the supreme law of nature, a food chain where each link, each strand is dependent on the other for survival, binding all life on earth in an intricate and complex food chain, a delicate web of life. Life first emerged in the oceans nearly three and a half billion years ago. Water, air, light and energy. These are the elements that made life possible. About 425 million years ago, life began moving from sea to land. Vegetation covered the earth. Over millions of years, an amazing variety of habitats and ecosystems developed. This enabled a diversity of life forms to proliferate on our planet. From tiny microbes, invisible to the eye, to enormous giants of the oceans, the richness and variety of life is astounding. Because of the diverse climates and landscapes, different species evolved to survive and thrive in different habitats. Survival was the prime instinct of all life forms. Animals and plants began developing strategies to find food and to defend themselves against predators. For example, the jellyfish. It may appear harmless and fragile, but is actually quite a lethal predator. Over 650 million years old, the jellyfish is found in oceans all over the world. It has no eyes, brain, heart or breathing organ. Its body is more than 95% water. It uses a complex network of nerves to find food. Millions of stinging cells line the tentacles of the jellyfish. The powerful venom they discharge contains paralyzing toxins that can stun and immobilize prey within seconds. This enables the jellyfish to capture food and defend itself against predators. This survival strategy is a result of millions of years of evolution. Evolution occurs through a process Charles Darwin called natural selection. Genes that give some individuals an advantage such as speed, fertility, superior sight, better camouflage 
or a sharper sense of smell are passed on to the next generation. Eventually, these genes spread through the entire population and the species changes. In time, a new species emerges while its ancestor becomes extinct. This is why change is crucial to survival. As species evolve, they become more in tune with their environment. They adapt and blend in. One of the most successful strategies for survival is camouflage. Here body color and texture play a crucial role, both in finding food and in avoiding predators. The ocean world is a highly competitive arena. Prey and predator must match skill for skill. The octopus has survived here for millions of years because of his amazing ability to melt into the surroundings. It is a master of camouflage, chameleon of the sea. If attacked or pursued, it can change its color and texture within seconds. The octopus has special color cells all over its body. These contain bags of pigments. By squeezing or expanding these bags, the octopus can change the color of each cell. This is an effective defense strategy to trick prey and hide from predators. Such survival strategies and adaptations are honed over millions of years. These genes are passed on to the next generation. As a species evolves, adaptation that help it survive and hunt for food are passed on to its progeny. Each new generation becomes more evolved, more refined and more adapted to its environment. Breeding behavior is an important strategy to ensure the distribution and continuation of the strongest gene. A powerful urge to reproduce is inherent in all species. Finding a suitable mate is crucial to the survival of a strong gene pool. A healthy, strong and attractive mate will produce superior offspring better equipped to survive in a harsh competitive world. Seasonal changes also play an important role, triggering off hormonal changes leading to breeding displays. Selective breeding is the law of nature. It's a built-in evolutionary logic. A peahen always picks a well-endowed suitor with vibrant plumage. A healthy bird with flamboyant feathers will father healthy babies. Male weaver birds build highly intricate, complex and sturdy nests for their offspring. A superior nest means a more dexterous and skilled male. A female always inspects the nest before choosing a mate. Approval of the nest amounts to approval of the mate. Breeding time and behavior and even the number of offspring produced is all part of nature's intricate design. Top predators like lions and tigers produce only two or three offspring every few years. Having no predators above them, their survival is ensured. Species lower in the food chain breed more often and produce more babies. A higher number ensures the survival of at least a few. The majority become food resource for other species. Each year, thousands of olive ridley sea turtles travel across the vast oceans 
to arrive simultaneously on the Orissa coast for mast nesting. Contemporaries of the dinosaurs, sea turtles have descended from land turtles. Their once stumpy legs evolved into flattened flippers, perfect for life in the oceans. Agile and graceful in water, they make slow, clumsy progress on land. Each female lays about 100 to 200 eggs with the instinctive knowledge that only a few of her eggs will actually survive. The first onslaught begins with the high tides that expose and scatter the carefully hidden eggs. These become vital food resource for many life forms on the coast. This coincides with the breeding period of the crows and other show birds. This is nature's way of providing much needed protein to the birds while keeping the turtle population under check. This interdependence between and among species is the most crucial survival strategy among all life forms across diverse ecosystems on Earth. Even in the hostile terrain of the desert, interdependence permits survival. The camel has adapted to the harsh conditions of the desert for millions of years. The camel's droppings ensure the survival of one of the hardiest beetles of the desert. Beetles are the hardiest most prolific creatures on earth. One in every five life forms on our planet is a beetle. Often overlooked, these small defenseless looking creatures have millions of years of evolutionary experience to survive and thrive nearly anywhere on earth. The specially adapted dung beetle is ingenious. It specializes in collecting camel's dung. Using its hind legs, it rolls down the dung tenaciously hanging on. The ball of dung may be several times its size, yet the beetle is undeterred. Rolling the dung downhill is no problem, but getting it into its hole safely requires greater skill, dexterity and sometimes aggression. This precious ball of dung will ensure moisture, warmth and a steady supply of healthy food for the beetle's eggs when they hatch. Without camels, the dung beetle would have no chance of survival. Another survival strategy is developing partnership between species a symbiotic relationship that ensures survival for both. Coral reefs are the cauldrons of life. Out here, there is intensive competition for food and space. To survive, many reef dwellers have developed symbiotic relationships. Survival is not just about aggressive competition, it is also equally dependent on intense cooperation. Anemone fish and sea anemones have evolved a symbiotic relationship. They share living quarters without any animosity. The flowers of the sea. Sea anemones resemble plants, but are actually meat-eating predators. They have the most poisonous tentacles, capable of paralyzing prey or intruders within seconds. Anemone fish are immune to the sting of the tentacles. In fact, anemone fish 
and their babies find refuge among the sea anemones' poisonous tentacles, retreating into their safety whenever threatened. In return for this favor, the fish protects the anemone from its natural predators of the sea and also removes decaying morsels and debris from within the tentacles. Interaction and dependence between and within species is among the most powerful evolutionary forces on Earth. Even the most feared and powerful predators are willing to share their food for something in return. Sharks are the supreme predators of the ocean. Small and gentle, suckerfish and pilotfish are often seen traveling along with the shark, some firmly attached to the shark's body with their powerful suckers. These schools of scavenging fish feed on the small amounts of food scraps released as the shark feeds, yet the shark does not harm them. These fish remove parasites from the shark's skin. The shark benefit from the cleaning service and the scavenging fish is rewarded with a meal. The shark's presence also keep other predators away from these tiny fish. In the deep oceans or on land, a fragile strand binds all living things in a unique partnership. In spite of diverse ecosystems, the Earth is a unified pulsating living system in which all beings are connected together. Over millions of years, species have evolved as allies, adversaries and enemies. Developing strategies to adapt survive and reproduce. A delicate, fragile web binds all living things together. If even one species is lost, a link is fractured and this web of life begins to unravel. Of all the species, that have ever existed on Earth, 99% are now extinct. Asteroids, volcanoes, ice ages, and other natural events have continuously altered and transformed life on our planet. Scientists believe that among these mass extinctions, there were five so devastating that most life on Earth was wiped out. Mass extinctions can last for millennia. The Earth freezes over and the ice ages last for thousands of years. With each ice age, the nature of life on our planet is forever changed. 65 million years ago, a meteorite struck the Earth. The Earth was enshrouded in a curtain of smoke and dust for thousands of years. This changed the Earth's climate drastically. Many species, including the dinosaurs, became extinct. After this great extinction, mammals began to dominate the planet. Humans are new in the evolutionary race. Modern Homo sapiens appeared just over a hundred thousand years ago. Yet, we now dominate every part of the planet. In a short span of time, we have become the top predators. 
Our intelligence sets us apart from all other species. Unlike other species, humans can influence the course of evolution and determine what genes and traits are passed on to their progeny. In the near future, we may even be able to alter the genes of a developing fetus and create life by design. We are the only species that can adapt at will to changing conditions and environment. Yet man has chosen to change the world to meet his insatiable needs. In the mindless race for progress, man is creating a new world, transforming the whole planet as he plunders it. We have ravaged our forests, polluted our water systems, poisoned our air, altered our environment, impacting climate and pushing thousands of species to the brink of extinction and beyond. Almost 300 species are disappearing each day. Mankind may have triggered the next mass extinction. Our planet has never before witnessed an extinction of this speed and magnitude. The tiger is the apex of the food chain and today it is critically endangered. The presence of the tiger is the indicator of the health of an intact ecosystem and the delicate balance of the dynamic web of life that binds us all together. Destruction of habitat, loss of prey species and relentless poaching has pushed the tiger to the brink. While intensive efforts are on to protect it from extinction, it is important for us to understand the tiger can survive only if its fractured ecosystem is revitalized. Every species and life form has been designed with a specific purpose and plays a crucial role in maintaining a healthy and vibrant ecosystem. Even the tiny bee is as important as the tiger and vital for the survival of all other life forms on earth, including man. If the bee and other pollinators disappear, the tiger will vanish within a year. Man will disappear in three years and all other life on earth will soon follow. Life on Earth as we know it today will cease to exist. The entire web of life will unravel and mankind will have been responsible. Never before has just one species been responsible for the destruction of so many others. According to scientists, within the next 30 years, one-fifth of all living species could go extinct. Species that have evolved over millions of years will vanish in a few decades. A global tragedy is unfolding right before our eyes. And this is the world our children and their children will inherit. For millions of years, life has ebbed and flowed on our fragile planet. But in our haste, we have forgotten that we are not the supreme commanders of the earth, but only a strand in the delicate web of life. Our own survival and evolution depends on learning 
to share this planet with other creatures that have been here millions of years before us. Maybe another mass extinction is not inevitable. If mankind is the cause, it can also be the solution. We also have within us the ability to protect and conserve and learn from our mistakes and once again learn to live in harmony with nature. The future of this fragile planet, our home, is in our hands. <laughs>